Hi, guys. Wait, I was having my pre-sip. Your pre-sip. And you Sorry. interrupted. You can start again. No, I can't. People can see you fumbling with your mic. Oh, okay. Pretending it, that you're a rock star. I'm just making sure it's like pointer is okay. I think that's fine. Hi, guys. Um, yeah, I don't think I like it there. Oh. What way do you turn your head and talk? That way. Where's the mic? There. Right. Makes sense? Yeah, but if I put it here, my hair will go over. Throw your hair on the other side. Mm. Or put your hair just behind your back. No, then I'll look like I'm bald. Let me turn this over here. Oh, you might like bald people. Mm. There we go. Is that better? Is it pointing towards your face? Yeah, kind no, that's, of. No, that's cool. As long as it's pointing upwards, it's fine. Okay. Yes, once before you did put it on one side and... Then I turned my head away from it? Yeah, so... It like when you talk when you're walking away? Yes, it <laughs> gives that throaty sound. Throaty. Yeah, deep throaty sound. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's a little <sighs> Oh, so you're going to start with that one. You were yeah, going to risk already, the biscuit. It's already opened and I... Oh, know. but isn't that opened a long time? Well, I had it on Monday before. Oh, I, no, that could be all right. It wasn't hot, so that should be all right. Before I went on long service leave. What? You didn't go on long service mm-hmm. leave. Stop exaggerating. <laughs> you went on big bulge leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The bulge continues. The bulge continues. <laughs> How many episodes have we squeezed the bulge out on? I don't know. I was only on the last one. I think it was, yeah, because we were t- I was like, talking about how excited I was that I was going to... The Bulge. To, <laughs> ...to see bring me in Adelaide. And I did, and I got to meet the lead singer, and my life is complete. I am deceased. I will never recover. And, oh, my God. I met him in an airport lounge. Like, that is so... And, th- like, the best part is we were joking about this. Like, me and my best friend were like, oh, I wonder if... Because we like... What are you doing? No, keep talking. Oh, we... I'm not in it anymore. It's all about back. And we were saying, because we knew they were playing in Melbourne the night after, we were like, oh, I wonder if they're going to be on the same flight as us. Ha, ha, ha. Imagine if they're on the same flight as us. And then they were. And they were in the airport lounge. What are you getting? Sorry? Are you getting my messages? (laughs) Don't don't expose me like this. (laughs) I sound like the devil. (laughs) Um, I'm just looking. And where am I? So this is the phone messages over the last couple of days. No, don't read all of them, please. I got the coolest bring me the horizon hoodie. Is that all right? Can I say that? Yeah. I hope I don't lose it in the crowd. Is that okay? Can we just not read our like all of my messages, please? They start in 45 minutes. Can we please just not read my messages? My reply was, I hope you have a nappy. Have lots of fun. Then you've replied, I have, I'm this so close. This is boring. People don't care about this. These people love this. It's, just wait for the really good no, stuff. No, <laughs> please don't. I'll skip anything where it'll be embarrassing. Right, so yesterday I'm on my way to a shoot and they're in the lounge. <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> Ollie Sykes just walked past me. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> well, because, like, they were sitting tucked away in a corner and I just felt like it would be a bit weird, like, like if they were sitting somewhere that, like, I could walk past them, I feel like it wouldn't be weird. But, like, the fact that they were, like, tucked away, I was, like... No, nah, like they clearly want to be like left alone. They're totally going to be on our plane. I look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even I hadn't even brushed my hair and I had no makeup on. I was like, of course this happens while I look like this. Like, why didn't I get up at the crack of dawn and do a full face of makeup and like blow wave my hair or so like But anyways, I Peter, thanks to Peter's good suggestion, we moved a bit closer and then when it was time for boarding, we saw them get up and then we, like, made it so that we were, like, walking at the same... What's IDK? I don't know. 
Oh my god, I don't know if I should go up to it. Oh, that's right. And I said, stop being a chicken. <laughs> You're just a big fan. Anyway. Go sit on his lap. <laughs> no, that's a, I feel like I should just leave them alone sitting blah, 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 yeah, they blah, blah, blah. Anyway. I'm so nervous. And I think my suggestion, where's my... Uh, no, you called me and then you told me to do what I did. I did I t- tell you on the phone? Yes, you called me and told me to do that and that's exactly what we did and we met them and then they were sitting a few rows behind us on mm. the plane and then we got a photo back in Melbourne and I will never recover from this and that's like the most exciting thing of my life. The so end. the next thing was I just hugged O Sykes. Because well, you were freaking... I'm s- shaking. I was trembling. <laughs> <laughs> I need to chug a whole bottle of wine. <laughs> That was so scary. <laughs> All right, we don't need to continue reading my messages anymore. <laughs> oh, they're flying economy. <laughs> I'm just going to pass away. But that <laughs> happened after she got uh, a picture and he's looking, Beck is looking like a 12-year-old girl, Casey's looking like a 12-year-old girl and he's looking bored. <laughs> he is. He's looking. Would you take it off me? Yeah, I know. All right, anyways, that's the end of that story. I reckon there's got to be more. No, that's the end of the story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted yeah, you to do I this I can't week. read any of this. Oh, my God. Stop. Stop. <laughs> what did you do this? You had a good week. We both had really good weeks. I got to meet I Ollie did, Sykes I and you did awesome I didn't shoots. meet Kate Moss. I didn't get a hug from Kate Moss. Yeah, but you did awesome shoots with Shay. How do you know? Because you showed me. Oh, I thought you had hidden cameras turned on or something. No, you showed me the photos. No, I did. I had a lot of fun and we've got a pod, I've got a podcast coming up with Shay and I talking about a lot of it. But, yeah, it's – I really needed it. I needed, needed a couple of things. I got my third Hasselblad. I know this sounds – I sound like the biggest wanker in the world. <laughs> It's like someone who has three Lamborghinis. Like, why would you need three? In case one breaks. Well, no, that's, you've still got two. Anyway, no, the, the reason it's just future-proofed me, I don't, that means that I reckon I can get 10 years out of H6. Nice. I think, I think we should be able to get 10 years because I think if, even if the one of the backs fails or something, I might be able to use the spares out of that back if the other back fails. So I'm just... A future proves me. I got a good price second hand from Sweden. It only done, you know, only done a few kilometres, so it was real good. <laughs> a few kilometres. Oh, clicks. <gasps> um, but I, because I'm not scared of taking it out of the studio and taking it in, you know, environments and things like that. And so Shane and I went up to the, the golf course and. It was like, why did I stop shooting this outside? Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen you shoot outside with your house of blood. Yeah, I think I I used to to no, until I was happy with the mirrorless. Well, the mirrorless system took over because it made it so much easier, especially on sunny shade, sunshade, sunshade. You would see it in the viewfinder. So if the sun came up a bit and you started overexpose, you just quickly change. Whereas when I'm just shooting, you're not quite as aware because the viewfinder just shows you instantly that, you idiot, you're going to overexpose the head. Um, and I, it, a little bit happened when I was shooting Shay. There was a couple of times going, oh, shit, I think the light just has been up. And flick back in the air, five or six pictures were over. But I've set my overexposure warning high enough that they were all safe. But, uh, it just, but it's funny, we'd, we were in the golf course a lot of what we were shooting looks so much better just on the Hasselblad at f8 on an 80mm lens. But there was one section where she was laying down in the grass and they didn't look that good, but all the ones on the Leica at f2 on a 90mm lens looked awesome. But it comes down to if, if it feels like a fashion shoot, the Hasselblad just looks so much better. But as soon as you want to make it a bit grungier or emotive, the like a shallow depth of film, that type of look looked better. Mm. Um, I st- still do find that it's a shame that well, there's no system out there that 
Like, this is where the X should have taken over, but the X is so crap with its delay time. Well, d delay time and slow shooting was the main problem, and my X2 starting to fall apart already. The screens were going all weird. When you say delay, do you mean the blackout? The blackout time. Yeah. That sort of just puts you off, and you, you've seen me shoot, I'll keep both eyes open, yeah. so I don't get a blackout in the eye, and it's not too bad when I do that. But now the colours in the EV are just very yellow. Mm -hmm. And the, the main, they should have, this is the difference with, say, Sony and Leica. If, if I could grab the H6 and put the Leica EV on it, to work, I'd be so happy. Cause then I'd have my overexposure warnings, I'd have black and white in my viewfinder. I'd have all, everything I want in my viewfinder and that's what I don't have with the Hasselblad. You don't have black and white in the viewfinder? No. Oh, interesting, I didn't know that. Well, the, these are all the dumb things. The whole reason you do mirrorless to be able to have these things and typical stupid companies that use PR companies to design cameras and not photographers. Yeah. I still wish, I'd love, um, I think I would love it if Sony said to me, design us the perfect camera for what you do and then educate people about, so there's the whole thing of the point and shoot, it's really easy, da, 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 but when you get in that headset, you don't create, you're just taking happy snaps. Yeah. Whereas if you shoot in my headspace, it's all about creating. And the more you can see in the viewfinder, which helps you create, the better the picture gets, the more you can create on it. I found that with, so yesterday with Shay, we were shooting in one of these houses you can book by the hour. Um, and that's not like by the hour the hotel rooms, that's a different type of house. <laughs> now this is for photographers. So it's a old rundown house. It's, it still would be livable. It's heaters, electricity, all of that in there, but it's a very old, um, dodgy built home. Like it's had dodgy extensions put on it. Oh, right. The front door step is in the hallway because they decided to enclose it. So you're coming from concrete onto carpet. Yeah, it's all, and the, what, the very front little room looks like they just filled in underneath the roof of the eave. Oh. But it's really cool because it is like that. And it's, they've retrofitted out with just all old retro type. It's a bit more, a little bit more for pin up and right. that type of thing. But it's it still really cool to shoot in because it, the light in there was great because every room had light coming into it. So you could shut and close curtains and doors to control the light. So I didn't use any, I just used natural light for every single set. Hmm. Um, they're happy for you to move things around so you can just move tables and chairs and things from room to room. But I started shooting that with the hassle and just didn't feel right. So I shot all of those shots oh, with no. the Leica because it, um, it had fitted the mood better for some reason. The grunginess. The grunginess, but yeah, really, really had, uh, had fun. I really did. And because also you were just shooting for you and Shay's shit, you weren't like filming it and trying to make like. Yeah, we didn't film anything. I did film a bit, where did I film that? Yeah, I stuck, and this is something I was gonna to talk to you about, but I'm happy to talk out in public. I've been spending a little bit of money um, over, so just a couple, three or four months before Christmas, a couple, a month or so after Christmas on things like the DJI Pocket, the GoPro, uh, yeah, the 360s, right. um, to try and get a system that was more I could film without feeling like we're filming, so I could just create, but it's all getting caught on film. Yep. And uh, with my little RX on top of my camera, I find, well, it doesn't have any stabilisation in that, which is okay um, while I'm shooting, but as soon as I move off to shoot, but you might be doing something that's all shaky. Right. The other thing is I've got to set up the zoom and the crop I'm going to use based on the focal length I'm shooting. So you end up in the middle of the picture and 
a few times that didn't quite marry, so heads were cut off and things like that while I was filming. Or you, and like, change where you're shooting, shooting and yeah. then you don't change Change that. that. And it's a little bit heavy, so it does take a little bit, especially on the Leica, it takes that Leica feel off it. Mm. So that's when I decided, and we've been playing around with the gimbals with the iPhones and that on, and they're great for sitting on side, the autofocus. So I'm happy mm -hmm. with that system. But the GoPro, it just seemed to be too far, it was too wide. Everybody was like, just minute, small. A little pee. Peas. So I didn't like the fact that I really couldn't zoom. Can't you zoom after the fact? Like yeah, it's only 4K, so I can only really zoom come in 50%, oh. and that brings it down to what we're video editing at. Right. And it still feels like it, even when I do that, it still feels like it loses a bit of detail. Mm. But So I, then the pocket thing, with the, can't put the pocket on top of the camera, mm. and that was also supposed to be just a nice little thing I could just drop there, or you can actually put it on yourself type of thing like a chest camera. Body cam. Body cam. Um, all he could have is a cock cam. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> but I haven't continued with that because I found the tracking was terrible. It just didn't hold tracking. Then the, the 360's good, but I'm not liking. I was going to show you before I filmed some of the, the 360 action cam, the 360 Go, I think it's called, whatever it is. It's. It feels like it's put a filter. Oh. The skin, I don't know. And you see all the 360 stuff with them using as an action, like I'm talking about the little action cam one, not the 360 degree one. You see the videos in 4K now look great, but everything in mine's looking like there's like an a AI skin softening. Mm. And I looked at it and she goes, it's all right. Nobody would count. I'm looking at I hate it. It looks like mm. crap. You show me and I'll give you my honest opinion. Honest opinion. I don't know why my hand's bruised. I do. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I how, do. How have I managed to do that? What? Luggage. Oh, true. Maybe no, I wasn't talking about that luggage. <laughs> <laughs> Such a random place for a bruise, though. Anyway, sorry. Anyway. Short attention span. How hard did you squeeze him? Shouldn't you? I don't know. I, don't know. I kind of blacked out. You kind of blacked out. <laughs> Mounting him while his wife is <laughs> sitting, standing next to you. Oh, my God. No wonder he had that look on his face. It was like, can you two please get off me? I'm never recovering. Five minutes is enough. I'm never recovering. <laughs> Anyway, that was my that was your that was week. my little, that was my story. Your story. Well, I'm glad you had a good week. You've had had a good couple of weeks. With I know the, the the shots we got some incredible shoots. Like just a little, real little quick ones. I wanted to do this skateboard shoot, and where I wanted to do it, and started the sun didn't go, and I was sort of looking at it as I wanted to have full sun shadow cast, but then we end up said stuff this and I thought well, well yin and yang it was skateboard on a dirt road <laughs> it was just on your right out the front of my yeah. house yeah so I literally set up there Shay was originally going to do it the jeans on and we shot it a bit and I said um, Shay goes are they all right I said yeah I'm just and she goes yeah, I'll take the jeans off <laughs> I said I wasn't go I was thinking something's not right and she goes yeah we'll just do a couple mm. and yeah no they they turned out really cool but, uh, yeah, it's me going back to shooting the way I used to shoot. I think it's a fashion thing. We Shay just pulls such awesome fashion shapes. Yeah, and she understands. And she understands fashion. that. And But at the same time, we were talking yesterday about it, and she said she learnt so much about little things. and From, like, shooting with you? Yeah, just different. It started off with the portrait shoot on the first day when she realised... Just when I said, oh, yeah, just yeah. hold your fingers, grab your wrist. She felt the change yep. happen and she realised that, that just you've really got to do things with your body to add those things. I think she even said on Monday, um, 
Yeah, that she had learned heaps of tricks that, to tell her models when she yeah, was shooting yeah. herself. Yeah, and she loved that. But this, we're doing some stuff based off a of sort of an old Kate Moss picture that we liked, but we really did it our way. And she started to get this sort of Kate Moss cheek when Kate Moss was around about 24, 25. And it was amazing. Shay said, I was trying this based on something you said and I felt it because she says sometimes she doesn't like it because it looks like her round her mouth is all tight. Mm. And when I told her that if you just go eyes, 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 and you just do it on your, without even the camera on you, you'll actually feel the bottom half of your face go numb. And she said all she did was the eye thing and she mm. said all of a sudden I started commenting about her cheekbones. So, yeah, it's good. It's actually really good. Actually, Ashley. Um, Who's Ashley? Ashley, I should put, I don't have his contact. I should look it up. Huh? What do you want about? I'm just talking. <clears throat> um, I'm making Beck noises. <laughs> now, I was going to say I should just for anybody who's in Melbourne. Um, oh, yeah, Beck and Hunt. This is Beck's job. <laughs> we'll, we'll put up in the description, we'll put up a contact for that house. Because oh, yeah. I think it was $50 an hour. That's pretty good. And yeah, there's heaters in every room, there's running water, uh, electric lights, um, lots of different lamps and that. And there's one room that has an old record player and vinyl sitting in there, another room. There's like a coffee room, there's a bar, there's like a, a dining room, there's a one of the old fashioned type bar things, the table with just heaps of bottles on it. Oh, Taylor Swift's new album comes out today. Who cares? I do. Oh, Ollie got dropped quick for that. No, he's not dropped. What are you talking about? I just, sorry, my friend texted me saying happy Taylor. How can you go from Bring Me the Horizon to Taylor Swift? What do you mean? That is like two different planets. So I can't like different music? Am I only allowed to like one genre of music? No, but she, she is so far different to that. So? So? Have you heard what Peach sounds like? Yes, she's but she's a girly pop. Yeah, I know. I'm not a big fan of. It. Yeah, but she's no, but she's got this peaches cool girly pop, not commercial friggin. No, one of my friends preconceived radio. When rap. I when I was going to her concert a few weeks ago, one of my friends replied to my story, being like, "I swear you have the, probably the most like diverse music tastes, one of the most diverse music tastes out there." Or maybe out of his friends, not in the world. I'm not going to claim that. Because like, I know people are now going to be in the comments being like, well, I listen to this and I also listen to this. No, but so. I listen to extremes, but I just find, I know, to me, Taylor Swift seems like a different extreme. Yeah, well, that's to you. No, I just meant super commercial. Whereas a lot of the stuff you tend to like isn't super commercial. Yeah, I know. Whereas she's just nothing but commercial. Oh, well, I like it. Of course, I can like whatever you like. I just said the extremes. <laughs> well, it is. Yes. Don't look at me like that. I wasn't looking at you like anything. Sorry? I wasn't looking at you like anything. Maybe they might do a song together. Imagine that. That would be really interesting. It would never happen. <laughs> it would be really interesting. It would never happen. <laughs> You've got more cool shoots coming up next week with Anne. Yeah, I've got to start storyboarding that. That's one different thing I did too. I did a lot of storyboarding before Shay even got down. Mm. You find that helps? Well, we always we had something to do. We didn't sort of go, oh, what next? It was like always sit around. Well, and we waste still time. said what next, but we looked at the storyboards and. Like it was like, which one, which, which of these ideas do you want to do next? Yeah, Not just. So, oh my God, what is this bug? There's a random bug on me. A random bug. What is it? Uh, it might be a redback spider. No, it's not. It's, it's got lots of legs. Oh, uh, what is that? That's all right. Just a top. That's a baby cockroach. Ew. <laughs> Did you just blow a cockroach? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it went. Oh, it went up, up your pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's lost forever. That'll oh, never be seen again. I kind of hope I didn't. Although they kill reckon it. that they could live, they can live through yeah, a nuclear I, bomb. I hope I didn't. They kill don't it. say it was they, only, they didn't a, say it could live through back. <laughs> it's just a baby. I hope I yeah, didn't right. kill it. 
It's also, fine. I don't want that on me. Like. You just sat on it. And now <laughs> it is dead. I hope I don't kill it and then friggin' bang. I don't know where it went. Sorry, cockroach. Was it's, it a baby cockroach? Yes, it was a tiny Ew. little baby cockroach. It's got, why do we have cockroaches? That are breeding. Why? Mm. Oh, because we're in Australia. We have critters. Yeah, but why are they breeding in our studio? Uh, they... Why Charlie Sykes? I don't know. <laughs> what have you been doing in here? I haven't been doing anything. I've been on holidays. And they've been copycatting you, have they? <laughs> they've been on holidays. So how do you know they've been breeding in here? And how because do you know... how do, how, that's how babies are made. Yeah, but they might have bred outside and have come in for the shelter. Well, that's a possibility. It's all right. It's flat now, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, no, we've got Anne next week, which is fun. And then we've got workshops. Yes. Which. And then we've got Europe. I've got a month before. We've got about a month between, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, so, yeah, but we have got Europe coming. It's going to come up really quick too. Well, it always does. I always think we've got so much time and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, tomorrow we get on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always. I can't believe it's April already, to be honest. And it's like nearly the end of April. Like, what the, when did that happen? When? Yeah. Um, well, after you get past the beginning, you get towards the end. <laughs> well, it's not the end. We're only just past halfway. It's the 19th. That's 15th like... is halfway. It's four days past halfway. We're in the second half. That's towards the end. The second half is not towards the end. The... the Fourth quarter is towards the end. We're at the beginning of the second half. That's not towards the end. I don't, I don't know. I oh, think back so, in mathematics. <laughs> not my there. strong suit. Not your strong suit. <laughs> no. We can talk about doors. Doors? Oh, yeah. no. I, I know what that, I learnt, learnt what that you meant. You learnt what that meant. Yep. Did. Good. I'm glad you learnt what that meant. Learning things. I'm smart cookie. And I learnt a lot. What? If you play with your hair, you're stretching your hair and it won't grow as much. I've no if you dye your hair, it can actually dry your hair, which makes it split more. And what mm. happens with split hair down here, as quick as you grow, the splits come up, so your hair never seems to grow any longer. Mm. And once you get to a certain age, it all falls out. Surely not mine. Surely not. No, my... Do they say it skips a generation? Your mum's not bald. No. No, but that wouldn't have to look at my grandparents. I don't know if that works with women. Oh. Yeah, I think, I can't remember what it was. There was something with men. It was your, I think it was your mum's dad you looked at. Yeah. Your mum's father. <laughs> for men. I'm not talking about for women. I don't, I don't know. know why I had to think about I do. I have, Were you going which father? <laughs> which father? Did you ever did you ever meet your mum's father? No. You don't. So you don't know if he was bald or not. No, I never got to meet him. Did he pass before you were born? Yeah. There's no photos. There is. Was he bald? <laughs> oh my god. I think my brain's still on holidays. Oh my god. Um. And I let I think you he take was... time off to go brain dead. <laughs> I think he was a little bit bald. No, oh, well, you might only just go a little bit bald. No. Uh... Was he a back head bald or a front head bald? I think he was a front head bald. Well, you could do with a bit more forehead. I do, I do have a really small forehead. Yeah, compared it's to like, Anne. It's like a two finger width between my hairline and my eyebrow. Yeah. It's very small. It's yeah, like a could... three head. You need to get a little bit more forehead. We can just shave a bit. No. <laughs> we get started early for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Yeah, sorry, my still my brain's still very foggy with the back to back shows and the the whole airport meeting. The, I'm just uh... And the crying at Jared for not getting your tickets to the other show. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
I kind of feel a bit ridiculous for that now that I've met him at the airport. I wonder why. <laughs> I kind of feel a I little... hope Jared's rubbed it in or he hasn't yet. That might start from tonight. Yeah, no, he hasn't. He's very jealous that he didn't come. Well, I invited him to come to Adelaide originally and then I think he was starting to change his mind and I told him he couldn't come because we were having a girls' trip. Oh, so you told him. That, well, that's why he didn't get you the tickets in Melbourne. You couldn't come. It was girls' trip. It's fun. It's fun. fun. We had fun running. Adelaide's a very interesting place. I've only been. You really reckon? Like, no, I mean, like, I don't know. It's like quirky. Quirky. Yeah. What happens if there's Adelaide people listening to this? I, it's, quirky's it's probably, not bad. It's quirky. So it, we stayed just off. Is it Hindley Street? And it, like, I don't know, it had like an American-ish feel to it. So everyone in America, you know Hinley Street. <laughs> I've been there like 20 times. I don't even know where Hinley Street it's is. It's in like the main street in Adelaide. There's heaps of bars and shit on it. It had like an American-ish feel to it at night time when we went out drinking. I think it's Hinley Street. But everything shuts at like six. No, we went to a bar and they had cheap drinks. Only $10 for like... A drink, that's unheard of at a bar at least in this day and age. I noticed a lot of people smoke in Adelaide. Well, they smoking. Sickies. Sickies. Yeah. Mainly because their vapes are expensive. Well, that's my... Well, when was, have you bought vapes here lately? Yeah. And they haven't gone up in price? No. Uh, somebody else told me they had. No, I haven't noticed it. We oh. forgot to lock the door in case someone comes in and tries to service our cars. What happens if it's Ollie coming in to service you? Oh, then we better not lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> better keep it open. Hey, that's happened once in the, the 15 fact years. <laughs> it's the only time someone has walked in the door and says, would you like a service? Would you like your cars? <laughs> so rare. What a weird business model. Well, I think it's how everyone's going. It's like everybody just cold. So the junk mail. I had one the other day and said, I've sent you 12 emails and you haven't answered one. <laughs> Could you please be polite and answer? And it's like, you're trying to sell me SEO. Yeah. <laughs> well, I do, why would I bother answering you? If you're that bad, with, if you were great with SEO, your business selling SEO would be number one on the Google <laughs> SEO search list and you wouldn't have to employ people to sit on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get it. Don't get it, Jan. But I think it's a lot, lot and Shay and I were talking very similar <laughs> things, that there's so much with businesses that could do better. But I said many years ago I wanted to have a business and I'll charge a business to come in and give them a report on their business. What? Well, I'd give them an honest report on how they could make their business better. So your business is, your business is giving another business a report on their business? Yep. Right. Advice. Right. So... If they were a restaurant, would go in there, we would eat in there, do all the rest, and might be, and just put all the negatives that we found. Negative, Nancy. No, but so, <laughs> I'm sure there'll you. be no different to our business. If um, I was to look at my business from the outside, coming in as a client, sorry, your books are sold. I'd just be saying, well, how are you supposed to make money if you keep telling people, sorry, your books are not sold? Closed. Closed. Mm. But that's because I don't want them. But if I was actually... <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I mean is if our books weren't closed, I would want to know, they said, yeah, well, you're very slow to get back on the email or the way you're answering the emails, not convincing me to take another step or right. the way Beck spoke to me over the phone was very rude. <laughs> or me coming into the business and there's this lady just sitting there drinking wine at four o'clock uh, at ten o'clock in the morning. It's just do, not suitable. And um, having bring me the horizon music up super loud. 
I don't drink wine at 10 in the morning. So, I wait until at least it's 12 p.m. <laughs> I thought you said it was double digits. No. Or is that only in Zurich? No, that's not, no. I, I don't like drinking in the a.m. I, it makes me feel like an alcoholic. <laughs> 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 if they're drinking in the a.m. is acceptable if it's a mimosa, but, like, you can't drink red wine and, unless it's, like, unless you haven't been to bed yet. I was going to say, I've seen you plenty of times in the AM with red wine. That's because I haven't been to bed yet. Yeah. No, you know what I mean? Is, but I, I'd, it'd be hard. You'd have to have the right people who would do the evaluation of the business mm. because that would have to be people are very sensitive to things that could put people off. And you've seen what I'm like with... Um, yeah, this email's a pain in the ass, but no, we are answering it and we're going to answer it properly, even though that they're a dumb ass and so obvious their question. Oh, my God. oh sorry, you would never say that. I'm joking. <laughs> no one's going to email us ever again. <laughs> <laughs> well, doesn't that make your life? See, you can start drinking earlier because nobody's sending us emails anymore. No, just because it doesn't mean I can start drinking earlier. Why does that make. Well, yeah, yeah, sometimes it's, it is. Um, well, I find very odd. Like when I do mentor sessions with photographers, mm-hmm. I won't critique their work. I refuse to because their work mm-hmm. might be out of utter crap, but someone out there might buy, want, buy it and that might be their style. If you think about it, there's some music out there that's it's just utter crap. <laughs> Taylor Swift. But people go out and buy it. <laughs> so you can't... and. I, as I've said to people in comments and things like that, a real artist would never criticise another artist. Mm. Taylor Swift's not an artist, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm stirring now. But I mean, in the real world, you just look at it, it's not my jam. It's um, yeah, yeah, it's not to my palate. <laughs> but it doesn't mean it's bad. It's just not your taste. Yeah. So that's why I don't critique people's work. I can see obvious flaws in people's work where it isn't style, it's they need to shoot a little bit longer and they will learn, Mm. but it's no good me telling that because they're not learning by me telling. They're picking up a camera saying, now what did Peter say? That's not learning. So they need to learn the same way I did by me continually looking at the pictures I wanted to be taking and looking at my crap that I was taking and saying, I don't get it. This, my stuff is just so crap and this stuff is just amazing. But the more you look at it, you start then when you lift the camera, you see your crap in the lens. <laughs> so you start adjusting things and all of a sudden it's not as crappy. Yeah. And over a period of time, you get to a point where you go, hmm. You suck, Helmut. You and I did better than you. I never said that, but you know what I mean. Yeah. You get to a point where you're not. You're actually looking at your work, saying that could sit next to that person without a problem, because it's had. It's had the polishing, but it's also kept in with your style and who you are. But it's not just. Like you, you heard me say terms like the uni student. Yeah. Right, and even Shay said, what do you mean by uni student? And I showed her and she goes, oh, yes. <laughs> and she showed me a photographer and said, yeah, like, it's good but it just feels very uni student. And Shay didn't get it. And I'm not going to ma- mention his name. It, he's, I think he gets a little bit published in the smaller magazines, but a lot of his pictures, I said to Shay, that's a copy of this Avedon picture, that's a copy of this picture. Mm. But it's overthought out, contrived, contrived, throwing the story in your face so hard yeah. you can't miss the story and then just having uh, camera clubs, super clean, perfect lines and everything so it's lost its soul. With the rule of so like paint like colours type pictures. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to, so there's a, a few of the mentor sessions I've done with people, I like the ones better when it's there running... They're either running 
their photography as a business or they've just started running as a business because then I can be brutal. Mm. And all I do is ask them questions and when they answer the questions, I say, well, why'd you put that picture? So I'm not saying their pictures are shit. I'm actually saying, who's your client? Who are you selling to? What are you trying to do? And it's that the first thing, like when I gave up all my other income to do photography, I said I'd do weddings, parties, anything. My web page showed it a little bit. The front of my studio showed it a little bit. But most of the time, anybody who rang my own, I can do it. It was just that I was in a convenient place that people would walk past and stick their head in. Um, I worked to people's budgets. My web page was a bit all over the place because wedding party, I mean, I thought I had to show a bit of wedding, a bit of fashion, but yeah, that that's... just kills you because they don't know who you are. You don't get a style, you just spread everywhere. And then when, I mean, the best one was Jess. So Jess, who's Live Fast magazine, mm -hmm. the, I had a mentor session with him and it's on Inspire. So if it's anyone who's on Inspire, that mentor session's on there. And I did with him. I looked at it and said, well, who are you selling to? And when he said, well, predominantly swimwear. And I said, well, what's all this shit going on here? <laughs> People don't care about landscape and weddings and if you racing doing cars. That, yeah. you, this should just be the best swimwear stuff. Yeah, it makes sense. It's that thing of you know, sh if, if you shotgun, you might hit 20 or 30. Oh, that's <laughs> Not right. this what's again. A, <laughs> what's a shotgun? I didn't say what's... No, because the shotgun's too... No, it has two barrels, but very rarely you let them go at the same time. So you don't have to reload it. It's bang, bang. But in video games, it's like... It's like a one big bullet. No, no that comes out and spreads. We already went through this. I know, but I still don't believe you. You can get solid a solid wad. <laughs> A wad. <laughs> you get a solid wad. I, I think they call oh, is it. There's a name from. It's I, what, instead of having lots of balls, it's a big wad, a bit like Ollie Sykes. <laughs> so we have an Ollie Sykes capsule, which is just a big wad, and then you have um, maybe an M and M with lots of little balls in it. Oh my god! What? I can't. Oh, I <laughs> see. I anyway. Well, so imagine getting a handful of marbles and throwing them. Yeah. Or a dart. Yeah. What's the difference? You've got ten people out there. You got a handful of marbles, and you got to throw them from there to there. You're going to hit quite a few people, aren't you? Yeah. But you're not going to kill it. Not hurt any of them. Oh, you have marbles would hurt hitting you. They're like oh, not a handful because you're not getting. Still probably hurt. A little bit. All right, so a dart was going to hurt a lot more. Yeah. Right? But a dart, you're only going to hit one person. Mm. Right, so if you really... <laughs> what? Stop thinking about Ollie Sykes. Let's I'm not. Back to... No, I'm just laughing at how you're explaining this to me like a child. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you noticed this is how I talk to you every day? In fact, no, I, don't. I seriously don't talk to Beck. So no hate mail. And normally just go, da 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 And then Beck answers, Not the only farts. No. Um, oh, my God. Well, there's someone, I can't remember his name. Someone loves us mentioning only farts every single page. We already, just to pee you off. No, we already spoke about this, I think, last time. Not this. a model only farts. So Here you go, we've topped it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you could sell not a model only farts bag. Oh, my God, no. No, but you see what I mean? If you've got a whole hand of stones and you throw them, you're going to hit more than one person. Mm -hmm. But your effort wasn't, you didn't aim at who you were going to hit. Yep. Whereas if you've got a dart, you're aiming at the person you want to hit. Yep. So there's a way that you say, I'm going to put all my money there as my target audience and I'm going to hit that audience. Mm -hmm. Or I just throw a heap of stones out there and when they ring up, I'll talk to them. Right. So it's not aimed at a certain person, it's aimed at everybody. Then I'm going to have to try and do the selling later. It also means that their web page is aimed at everybody, not just really aimed at this little target audience. And it can be a little bit all your eggs are in one basket. Some of the really clever 
companies will run multiple web pages. The different names. Different names or different, like um, Studio Max, which is one of these studios that do weddings. Parties, anything? No, they would. <laughs> he actually <laughs> would do anything. But he, he ran it so he had his bridal section. Mm -hmm. Then he had one called, I think, something Paws, which was only shooting animals. Back Paws? And then he had another one. He just had different names. And was, one was aimed at dancers. One was aimed at animals, one was aimed at weddings, and one was aimed at people who want to look like rock stars in like come in and do the glamour shit or the guys come in and look like Incredible Hulk. And, no, if they'd come in like they'd been to the gym once and they want to look like Arnie Schwarzenegger, they set up lighting and injected shit into them to pump them up and mm -hmm. stung them with bees and they could swell in different areas. Really? No, I was Did joking. It, oh. They don't actually do that. Well, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. I've heard this. I heard somewhere some influenza stung her lips with a wasp to get the lips bigger. So it just had little and just kept stinging around her lips to get them bigger. Oh my god, babe, just get lip filler like the rest of us. Like Maybe she should influenza can't afford it. <laughs> Nobody would send her lip filler because she was too skinny top lipped. She looked like a, a creep because she was a skinny top lipped person. I used to have a skinny top lip. I got lip filler. Yeah, like you just have a skinny forehead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lip filler like every other Well, I thought you could actually if you got a facelift, you kill two birds with one stone. Why? If we just cut the back of your head and then pull everything this way, it excretes your forehead. I don't want to be. I like my little forehead. Really? Yeah. Oh. I think it's cute. I keep liquefying it bigger. Do you? No, I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> I did something. I was playing around. So I'm working on with Inspire. Oh, roller door time. Sorry, everyone. I, with Inspire, because it's been going quite a few years, I think some of my, especially in some of the retouching, I'm going to revisit. Yeah. And I don't want to do Photoshop 101 retouching because that's not what I'm doing. People, I gather, people watch what I do to have the type of looks I do and I'm only want to teach what I do. And, like, yeah, you're not going to, like, this is how to use Photoshop from... Yeah, you this know, is how like, to put in a fake background. This is how to... Yeah, yeah. So I've looked at the best ways that I can show... Because some of the, the tools I use and some of the tools I don't use, most people can't see the damage because they never see their work printed like two metres high. And the damage doesn't start appearing until it's about one metre and then you still have to look at it. Once it gets to two metres and someone points it, it becomes very obvious. Didn't this happen when we were somewhere and we walked past some shop and you were pointing out all the bad photoshopping to me and I was like, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I could point out <laughs> what tool they used and where they used it. And once I pointed, go, oh, oh yeah. well, that's pretty horrible. But see, non-photographers don't see that. But if you think about it, if you're a photographer, do you want other photographers pointing out to other people? Look at the dodgy Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Anyway, I did this also with the Damon, who used to be head of Hasselblad in Australia, and he couldn't believe it. I think it was on a Dior window. And I'm looking, and Damon goes, what are you doing? <laughs> so it was a shoot at night time. And he's waiting for, it was a lingerie shoot with Rara at night time. Um, so we filmed it, and he was assisting us a bit that night. And he was, walked over and said, what are you doing? And I said, well, I was letting Rara and him get ready and change, and I know they're going to take 10 more minutes. And I saw this picture, I wandered over, and as soon as I got close, I got, oh. And Damon goes, wow, it looks awesome. Mm -hmm. And first we were talking about what camera it was shot on. I said, I reckon it's shot on a phase one, and 100% it seems super sharp. Like, it seems not a hassle, but it feels a bit digital. The whole picture felt digital, and to me it felt like it was definitely medium format. So the next thing I said, so can you see the retouching? And Damon goes, she looks you know, flawless. And I said, but you can't see the retouching, can you? He goes, no. And I just pointed at something and he goes, oh, they had a problem with the printing. I said, 
said, what are all these dots? She's got like chicken pox. <laughs> like minute. They were the circles of healing brushes. Ah. Because with a healing brush, every time you do a thing, the blend from what you've grabbed and moved to here, the scent is sharp but the circle where it blends the two textures together, you get oh. an out of focus circle. And once you can see them, you can't unsee them. It's yeah. like dust spots. So you can have a look at your thing, you don't see it. Someone says, what's a dust spot? And you're going, all of a sudden you just see it every. Yeah, right. So mm. th I've worked out some really, uh, because it's, I worked out a lot of tricks doing my film scanning to get my film grains. Because trying to adjust film grains, it shows the damage every tool uses. It does. So that's how I'm going to show that what a, a clone tool healing content aware and all these things. And even um, enlarging or content wearing it bigger, you can start to see these patterns appear. I and love when you, content aware. Of course you do. No, I just you think like it's... like liquefy too? I love liquefy. But I don't know, I just think content wear is like magic. It's not actually blow it up big and you can see all it. It's just smokes and mirrors. It's magic uh, to uh, me. Uh, uh, but, to me it is magic. It can seem magic, but it's not. Smokes and mirrors. Smokes and mirrors. Yes. Those. Those, but yeah. Anyway, I've been, I've been raving more. Are you still gobstruck from friggin' meeting your... Is he your biggest hero in life? I wouldn't say hero, I just... All right, so the most... The, the one person you'd love to meet? Yeah, him. <laughs> well, did I say is he your big... Like, celebrity. Out of all the celebrities in the world... Yeah. He is it. Yeah. And you've met him. Yeah. Sucks to be you. <laughs> what? You've got nothing more to look forward to in the rest of your life. I haven't met MGK yet. I just asked you who your biggest one was. Yeah, I know. So you would be happy to drink the best wine in the world and now I'll drink the second best. <laughs> or no, I once I've tasted the best, why would I go to the second best? Oh, because MGK is bigger, isn't it? <laughs> I get it now. Yeah, I'm really, like, I just, that was, like, the best moment of my life. Best moment of your life. I suppose it's good for you. It sucks for me, though. It sucks for you. Why? Well, I can't meet the best person that I want to meet. Peter Lindbergh or Helmut Newton? Helmut Newton. Yeah. Peter Lindbergh... I really, I love Peter Lindbergh's work. I really like everything about him, but there's something with Helmut Newton. I loved his crassness, the rawness, the openness, and the very, the whole thing is telling the whole world, you know, F, get effed off. This is what I do. F'd. Only I can, yeah, well, I'm being careful for <laughs> censorship. So politically correct. So, that's quite. I shot with Zoe, which is the model I freaking adore working with Zoe. It's ages, but she's now a divorcee, or as I called her, a floozy. She <laughs> loved being called. She said, that is the best word out. She's a floozy. And she's getting back into her photography again, and she's also getting back into modeling again. We did a shoot, and it was really floozy. cool to hang with her. And there was one of the pictures wearing a top, and I ended up all her pictures fairly quickly. So it was really simple editing. And there was one picture I absolutely loved and she'd marked it that she liked it, but the top didn't cover her nip, like it separated out and you could see in and see it there. Mm. And I had a quick play to hide it and it just looked wrong. It just didn't look right. Mm. So I edited anyway and I, I sent them all to her and I said to her, like, if I bring in out a book, I would love to use this picture in a book. It's really, I have these old pictures of you, but this is sort of like a continuation of it. It really fits to my story and the way we've shot and everything. She goes, of course you can. So I was just thinking, because a bit of a nipple was showing. Now, she posted the thing on Instagram <laughs> today, didn't edit it, so I don't know how long it's going to stay up there. Yeah, you can all go searching for it. Good luck. I think she posted it in the story, so it'll be gone in a day. Oh. And maybe that's why she left it in there. Maybe. Well, she doesn't do topless, but she doesn't care. 
Yeah, it's right. a bit like other models that you've seen in here. Don't care, yeah. We don't shoot to have that in the picture, but during the shoot they couldn't give a shit. Yeah. I can't believe the amount of people freaking on that video with me that the most played moment because it's like the edge of... So how I got mad or you got no, mad? No, I said I can't believe how many like... Oh, yes. People yeah, being like, quite... oh. And I'm like, you can't see anything. Yeah, but just the fact that they've most likely gone frame by frame to try and see something. I know, and, and then they like... time mark the spot. And it's like you can't see any – like when you can't all see anything. That, oh, it was actually quite good. I, I do really appreciate when you do this because now Beck and I can go back and just put a blur on it. <laughs> you show this the exact same moment to put a blur on it. And then we remove your comment because we don't want other people going to that point trying to see – Beck nipple, I know they're so different. Trust me, I've seen them. <laughs> I've never seen a nipple like this ever in the world. Yeah, it's like a million dollar nipple, and I understand why everyone has to see it. It's so weird, <laughs> like. It is so weird. I reckon I should do it. And what I might do is shave my chest one day, take a photograph of my nipple, and put it on you, and just see all the people getting off on it. And then I'll tell them a year later, you've been jerking off to my nipple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god <laughs> I think someone's actually done that before Who? Oh. No I think I vaguely remember somebody Who had removed the girl's real nipples And put his nipples on the spot And he'd done it in a way nobody could tell And it was so He just pissed himself at one thing Oh she's got great tits And it was like his nipples are there though Oh, my God. I need to rinse out this because it's got sediment. Sediment. I don't like sediment. Uh, so you're running away. No, I'm just rinsing out the sediments because it's gross. So once we start talking about nipples, that's it, you're out. Oh, I'm just getting rid of sediments. It's all well, it's, grainy. You're, it's over like the only, uh, you're over the only farts page. I'm not. I'm just so we could do the only nipples page. Oh, my God. And if you charge a million dollars a month, because you've got million-dollar nipples. Well, they only put one up at a time. I don't think people could take the two in the one hit. It'd just be too much. <laughs> too much for people to handle. Yeah, sorry for my sarcasm. I just find it really, really weird that people get so hung up on... I do as well. I find it so bizarre, like... I just think it's that thing. It must be like in... Like, was it the 20s that ankles were... Yeah. <laughs> So someone with cankles, that'd be worth a fortune. Because so much, like, there's lots they'd, of real estate. There'd be double the size, so that's wow. double, the double the value of ankle. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm looking for the bottle opener. Did you look at the time on the recorder? Yeah, it's or are you too busy? 58 minutes. Oh. But I was going to open this no, one. No, we're about to finish, so you don't need to open it. Yes, I do. What, are you going to keep drinking after we finish? Yes. Now everyone will know you're an alcoholic. Everyone only thought you drank during the podcast and no other time of the day. It's Friday. It's party day. Oh, but tomorrow we're going to Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> I cooked it before and I said something to Peter and I was like, oh, tomorrow when we go to Brisbane, and he was like, what? I was like, I meant next week. So my... Don't kill yourself. I won't. Although I can. Not on camera. This is a just. That's you not. Fart. No, that's no. <laughs> Are you practicing? <laughs> Hang on, let me get a bag. <laughs> we can't let this stuff go to waste. It needs to. Oh, all the cockroaches are running out. <laughs> it was a wine bottle. It was a wine bottle. Yeah, I've heard. How many people have heard of you who've blamed the wine bottle for fart smells? <laughs> I've so never heard that before. It's the wine bottle. This bottle opener is shit. <coughs> I don't think you should ever, ever be a. Um, <laughs> what do they call the Jewish priests or are they? What are the rabbi? Rabbi, you can't. You shouldn't be a rabbi. Why? Think of all the poor males after watching what you've just done to the top of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> You don't need to do any more. I don't. Well, okay, yeah, no, I guess it's, it's free. This Just is digging away. <laughs> so are you, are you going to do this? 
Yeah. Yeah. We haven't opened a bottle of wine on a podcast for a while, and I know people found it amusing. Also, I think. You should do you open one every podcast. No, but not. This is actually for people in potty land, sorry, but people in YouTube are going to see what I have to put up with every day. Gosh. Beck opening things. I can't, I don't think I could do this. Opening and closing things. Front doors in Airbnbs are the best. Oh no, this is. My hands are all sweaty because I'm stressed. <coughs> because of Ollie. No, because I'm stressed. Why are you stressed? Because I'm on camera and this is embarrassing. You're always on camera. <laughs> you're filming yourself more than you're not. Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. They thought it was pretty funny. What oh, is what did that? you do? <laughs> what is that? I think they're bin chickens. Oh. Or whatever it is, they're what? not happy about it. What is that? Might be aliens. I've never heard that before. They, have you seen outside the wall out there? The little oh, bird the chip? Poo. Yeah. Because they put new lights. Up and it's, I don't think it's happening now. They put the new lights up, and the lights are so bright it attracted every insect from. A st that's where the cockroaches come from. The new lights oh, gotcha. attracted all the insects from around the world to here, and now all the birds hang around to eat the insects. Uh, yeah. Right, let's try this new one. This new one is called the Kipster. I uh. feel like I need a man bun and a smashed avocado. And I think I've had this before and I don't think I liked it, but we'll try Does, it. Did Jared ever have a man bun? Mm -hmm. Because he likes smashed avocado and he yeah. has a beard. What? No. It will most likely be absolutely amazing. What year is it? 2015. Oh, you're pulling your nose mm -hmm. up. Between. Oh, that's, you're an idiot. That's lovely. That's actually a really good wine. Yeah. So we'll get you some sugar-filled only crimes. I I, maybe I will go across and get a nine-turn crimes. Anyways, and now that I've opened up a wine that I don't like, we will see you next week when I maybe have some brain cells back and I'm not in la-la land. <laughs> so in the world of nature, it needs two things to mate to make a third thing. There's only one brain cell in there. There's no one, <laughs> none to mate with. It is running around in circles. It doesn't even. <laughs> it's not going to multiply. Anyway, we've been talking absolute <laughs> shit this episode. I did talk a little bit of camera things, You talked heaps of camera things. Yeah. I just sat here and daydreamed about yesterday. Oh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.